Hey guys, everything under the sun here. I today am taking a look at the Still MS250. Now, I've not done a review of this chainsaw. I don't even think I did an unboxing. I think that was before I did start out my YouTube channel. But I thought I would take a look at it and just show you what I got. This is what I got for cutting. Eight cords of wood every year of hardwood. Eight foot length hardwood. And I've got some of it stacked up here. Now right off the bat, I do have safety equipment. I've got my mask, which is really handy because you get a lot of wood flying chips and it gets in your eyes. You've got to have one of these. It comes with the air protector. This is just a still. You can get this from uh, any still dealership or whatever. Um, <clears throat> this MS250, I bought this brand new uh, a number of years ago. And I bought it basically when we bought this house and we decided to start burning firewood. And... I had a Poulan before, which is a really cheap make of a uh, chainsaw. Let me just straighten this, I think it's a little crooked. <clears throat> and uh, when I decided that we were going to burn wood, or when we decided, I wanted to get a decent chainsaw, not some cheap thing that would break after a year or two. I wanted something that would last, you know, 10, 15 years, realistically. And uh, so we went with this, and now I went, I went to the dealer and I said, you know, I'm going to be cutting eight, eight quarts of wood a year. Uh, what is the best chainsaw for your home wood burning uh, <clears throat> person, consumer, whatever? I'm not a professional. I'm not commercial. Um, I don't need some massive thing. So I wanted a, a, a good uh, choice between real heavy and powerful uh, versus kind of light and more flexible, something, but something that would do... Uh, the job that I needed to do and potentially go through 12, 14 inch uh, logs and uh, not strain me too much. Now like I said this is the Still MS250. Pull start obviously. It's got all the features. It's got your choke button here. It's got the, uh, the fuel here which is mixed obviously. Mixed uh, with uh, two stroke oil and it's got your bar oil right here. These are lids which just uh, pop off. So you flip this up here and you turn it and it comes out. I think this is full of gas. Yes, it is. And uh, yeah, so it just twists in and then this flips down to lock it. So it's a very, it works very well. It's not broken on me over the years. So that piece works very well. Same idea for this. You know, it's got a standard grip on it, um, like you see on any chainsaw probably. It's got the, uh, the safety thing which locks the uh, chain. So if it, if it, if it flies up, if it catches on the end of a, a, um, a log and it flies up, it flips like that and it locks the chain right away. And so it won't turn the chain even if you give it gas until you push that back. So that's a safety feature on all chainsaws, obviously. Uh, but you may or may not be new to chainsaws. I've never really replaced a spark plug in this. Um, I, I have had it off because um, one time I did flood it. Um, actually, my father-in-law flooded it. Um, there's a very specific startup method for this and, and it works every time this is, has been flawless for starting up uh, in the time that I've had it basically you put it all the way down to the full choke when it's fully cold which is the very bottom position here you pull start it until it burps once it tries to start just once as soon as it tries to start you flip this switch up one click to the half choke and then you pull this until it's started. And it'll probably, it usually takes about three pulls, and then it'll be started. You let it run for you know 30, 60 seconds um, to warm up, and then you pull the trigger. That automatically releases the, the choke on it, which flips up to the regular um, open uh, choke there, and then you're good to go. And it also has a safety button on the top so that uh, it locks the locks the trigger unless you have your hand on the top uh, on the top of it. And that just prevents some kid potentially from pulling the trigger, I guess, without a whole hand being around the grip. <clears throat> now you will notice that I got a cover with it, but this cover is short. Now the stock bar that comes with this, and this is a, you know, it's a, it's a still cover. It's not particularly fancy. It's just a piece of plastic.
but it, it works really well and I've, I've all, always used this to, just to keep the chain off the ground and out of the you know whatever moisture or, may, or whatever just protects the chain now that is short because this came with a 15 inch uh, bar I believe it was originally I had used that 15 inch bar or maybe the 16 inch I forget now uh, for many years basically until this year I just got the longer I want to say 17 inch bar no 18 inch it says 18 inch bar so this is the longest bar that you can get for the MS250 um, so it is an after well sort of after it's not aftermarket necessarily it's just it's a still it's a still product it's just the longest bar that you can get for this chainsaw obviously you don't want to go too long because then you're overstressing the the motor on the MS250 um, but this works well a little bit better for going through the piles of wood that I got because um, <clears throat> with a 16 inch bar you know you can go through one log at a time as soon as you put an 18 inch bar on you can really go through you know two uh, two uh, two logs at a time so I'll actually go through and cut through multiple multiple logs in one swipe all the way down I'll just show you so we've got these logs all piled up here and I'll just go literally you know over here and I'll just cut all the way down through multiple logs because a lot of them are very thin I've got all various sizes just this is just assorted sizes under 12 inch wide I think in general there's one of the bigger ones down there and so you can see with the, the longer bar you have you can actually cut through multiple um, uh, logs all at once so I with the chainsaw I just cut through here all the way down keep going down all the way and then you get a whole pile of um, blocked uh, blocked firewood chunks there ready to go so obviously you know the, the longer chain you got the easier it is the quicker you can go through a wood so that's why I decided to uh, go for the longer bar here the, the maximum bar now in terms of the MS250 this is I think maybe one up from their smallest chainsaw um, I've had no issues with it. it. It's got weight to it, definitely, but it's not, I, would, I wouldn't say it's heavy, heavy, at least not when you're using it, um, because when you're using it, you know, all the weight is on the wood, basically. You're letting the chainsaw do its work and, and put its own weight on the wood to cut through the wood. And it's a nice size, you know, I'm not a massive guy, so it, it's a good size for me. I've never had issues with this power, you know, obviously if you have more power, you can go through more wood faster. But I don't find that a particular uh, restriction or restraint for what I do with it. I do find that this is suitable, especially with the longer bar, for the eight cords of wood that I go through. And uh, I don't hold this in a left-handed fashion per se. Uh, well, maybe I do. I, I put my left hand on the trigger and I cut like this. Now, that's a good point. I guess maybe more people do hold it like that, right-handers. But I generally do hold it like this um, when I'm going through wood. Well, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Maybe I do hold it like this. I guess I'd have to actually get it to the wood and try it. Um, regardless, to the review side of things, I never have an issue starting this up. I don't think I've really ever had one issue. As long as you start it the way I suggested, the way I said, and that's the way the manual says, it starts up every time. So we're going to try that real time and see if that works. Um, and you'll see that on, on video. But the reliability of this after five or six years is amazing. Um, there's no oil changes that you need to do because the oil is in the gas. So as long as you keep your mixture good, you're good to go. And I use those mini oil containers um, that still sells. So it's one container into a five gallon bucket of gas you don't have to measure it you just put one whole tiny container in there and I buy a six pack of those every year and uh, and I don't go through a six pack of those in a year I don't think maybe two of them because two of them would be like two uh, you know ten, ga ten liters I should say of gasoline and I don't know I probably go through ten liters of it I don't know if I go through fifteen liters of gas to cut my uh, my eight cords of wood but the reliability is perfect. You can see it's not banged up. It's dirty. But uh, the plastic is all intact. It's not scraped or... Well, it's scraped, but it's not uh, cracked or anything. It's dusty. 
um, but I've never had a problem with it. So I've never had to take this into the shop. I've never had a single complaint about it. I, I've never took it in not liking it. Um, maybe I could try a larger one later and just see if, see if that makes any difference. But you know what? This does what I need it to. And this alone, this saw, was I think $400. So you pay for it. You pay for the better quality. But this will last me many years. Um, and I've, I've gone through many chains. I pretty much buy a new chain every year. Because it's almost cheaper to, to buy a new chain than it is to get sharpened. So I'll buy a new chain at the beginning of the year. I'll sharpen it pretty much after every tank of gas in the chainsaw that I go through. I'll just give it a quick sharp sharpening on all the teeth and then I'll get back to it. And then at the end of the year I'll toss it because it's not worth getting a uh, getting it sharpened for the next year. Uh, a new chain is only $20 so you know you, you pay $20 for some to sharpen it and you might as well have a nice new fresh one for the next year. So I find that works fine. I don't mind the expense there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, try and uh, start it up here. We'll move you down to the bottom and uh, you can see what I'm doing here. So first of all, this is cold. I haven't started it up yet at all. Um, it will not, it probably won't start on no choke if I, if I try that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this grass here. I hope you can see it. There we go. All right, I'm going to put it to a uh, full choke and I'm going to pull it until it burps the first time. There, it burped the first time. Now we'll put it to, to the half choke. perfect start as long as you follow that process I have had zero issues it starts up every time for me as long as you do that you got to wait for it to burp once flick it up once and then you notice when I pull the trigger when I felt that it was warmed up a little bit I pulled the trigger you notice the choke popped up on its own when you pull the trigger so that that is automated for you if you will so you don't need to worry about you know where the choke is leave it half on it'll shut it off for you when it's when it's ready to go basically when you pull the trigger so that is it I'm gonna to get to uh, sharpening it and uh, then I will get to gonna do it once over with a sharpener by hand then I'll get to my eight foot uh, log pile here eight foot hardwood this is maple and birch and eight foot lengths of uh, hardwood and then I got them stacked up here and obviously also in the trailer which I then um, take into my basement for seasoning drying out for the for the winter but uh, yep I would absolutely recommend the uh, still MS 250 and I would likely recommend the other uh, products in their product line if you have a need for them I've had zero issues with the still you you get what you pay for usually and I do believe that is is the case here as well and uh, like I said I did get the 18 inch bar on there because that that always helps a little bit and it doesn't seem to be too much trouble for uh, this motor which is uh, you know I think it's uh, the second up from the bottom for their I think they have one smaller I don't know what it is maybe MS 200 or 150 or whatever it is anyways that's my review guys thanks for watching let me know what you think of the still MS 250 if you have one and uh, definitely share the video if you if you like it thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video